75 pumps were screwed up, our engineer caught it, and we're gonna fix them. Hi, Damien. What are you up to? So we may have had an issue with these uh, 75 pumps that we... You made 75 pumps? Well, we're in the process of. They're okay. Like sitting over there, but apparently something's wrong on them. We gotta, we might have to take all the pumps apart that we just put. That's fine. The engineering drawing is wrong, so the hole is covered. She, the holes are here, that's what we machine. Yeah. And the housing's gonna sit like this. How long did it take to put 30 pumps together? Probably a full day between like four different people. <laughs> what are we gonna do about it? I'm uh, probably gonna remachine it. Make the hole bigger, maybe? Yeah, you know, make the hole bigger, or you need to go closer to where it's the suction. If you do the notch here, this whole thing yeah. has to come apart. Yeah, we'll do another hole. Yep. So we drilled 30 of these. We and we could we drilled 75, 75 so we couldn't just have drilled one maybe tested it out and then realized yeah, it before is, used... um, is there a timeline on this like are we in a rush or anything yeah great <laughs> <laughs> i think well, it's due it? this friday i mean this week or the, today is friday <laughs> that's a nice thing there's a friday every week <laughs> i think the easiest solution would be oversize the hole yeah down into it using this at this line to a three-quarter inch go down to a step and you're gonna at least get some oil in there. Just leave a port plate on there so we don't get anything. Thank you for not swearing. I appreciate thought. that. <laughs> it was I was hard. I saw. I heard you thinking about it, but it was yeah, good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow. <laughs> these and these too. Yeah. And then up here. I can take a look. The LV pump on the test bench too. Yeah. Came from uh, up there. And what's going on with all these boxes and all the mess all that the we've been? Oh, that I thought it was because be... of the moving and stuff, but these are the boxes. The oh my there goodness. Are, these are all brand new from Parker. Yeah. So they're exactly what we need, except they don't have the machining or the space. And we have the capabilities like to do the it. Comp, back end, shaft. It's all Buna or Viton. All the fun stuff we need. What's Viton again? Like the type of seal. Yeah. Material. What's it used for? <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> morning, Steve. Good morning. How are you? What are you doing? Dismounting a D16 that just we just tested. What's with this section? It's uh, an adapter because it doesn't have a pump to get mounted yet. Oh, cool. So we have an adapter that comes in. <clears throat> they quite often. Ten of them, yeah. Do you have to? You said it was P16. Is it P16? Yeah. If they tan them, does it also have to be a P16? No. Could be something else. Well, it could be just a zone or any pump. How far away are we on that cylinder repair, Daryl? Well, I'm so excited that I actually have to come in tomorrow. I heard. We heard for the server stuff. Yeah. What's going on with that? I got to rectify the issue. Fancy words. <laughs> Going to Western University, paid up. Good. Uh, Not for much, but a little bit. Put me in hole. I almost said go Mustangs, but are they the Mustangs? Are they? Is that a yes? Oh, I went to Brock. No, I went. I finished at Brock. Walk and talk, go to Brock. They're Badgers. They oh, are. God. Studying pre-med, so I wanted to get into being a pediatrician. So. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, I would have loved to do that. I'm good with kids. We know that. I don't know. So I have five? Yes. Yeah. I just assumed. And I got a newborn? Yeah. Yeah, he's awesome though. Good. Yeah. Every time I look at him, I just want to freaking ball. <laughs> Such a good kid. I love it. Good. I'm telling you, you'll love it. It'll be amazing. Except the first couple of weeks. <laughs> That's all. I haven't slept in months, it seems like. Is this going to be a big job? No, no, no. We look forward to all the machines. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> you always catch me when I'm doing something wrong. What, do, what are you doing wrong? I have a handle on this file. I still haven't gotten it. We need to get you one. Do you want us to get yeah. you a file? Supposedly they are, but I just have to be patient. Send us what you need. Send me a link. Yeah. I'll get it for you. I'll bring it to you like wrapped like a gift. Okay, okay. The problem What's was it called? they gave us uh, things to make, like make your dreams come true. 
It's uh, first off, they ordered the wrong files. These are too small. Okay. You require one like it's around 14 inches, I believe. Okay. And they came with handles, but the handles don't fit these small ones, which they sent by mistake. Mm -hmm. So supposedly they're sending us new files, which will work with our original brand new handles right is there like know. a specific grit or something or how uh, does no, that work it's just the tank oh, okay, here okay. is smaller on these gotcha. so it has to have a smaller handle hmm. i don't know if i should say yes get a small one here just wait and when the new ones come we'll hmm. utilize our new but old handles with them gotcha i don't know what are you doing now uh, I'm just uh, deburring these uh, spacers for the pumps. I think there's 75 of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're nearing the end of this part. But, but now we found out that we have to do some rework for the casting, so the fun never stops. Good. Enjoy. Yes. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you, Mike. What are those boys doing back there? I've never been in one of the. What are those called? Shipping containers? Oh, is that Mason? It's gotta be Mason. It has to be. No one else is that tall around here? No. Hmm. Cut up some bunch of scrap, emptied out the previous scrap bin, have a new one, and we'll just keep looking for things that are no longer needed. What do we do with the space. scrap? Uh, we sell it. Oh. The company comes, they pick it up, we sell it to them. Scavenge cool. some parts off of it before we throw it out. Freezing in here today. It is. Boring now. I wonder if it's actually operational because we just moved it in uh, last week. Based on this cord on the floor, my expert opinion says no. Is gonna be no. <laughs> <laughs> and those things all over the place. I'm gonna go with that. I think there's some. Oh, there's some here. They're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, they're everywhere. <laughs> Mark has a nice clean bench. He does. <laughs> the A series pump is no longer available, so we took a B series pump and tried to copy the modification without fully looking at the whole situation. The B series housing is thicker in this area so it actually blocked the hole. Mm -hmm. So now we have to uh, end mill the elongated hole so that the oil can get from the housing out the inlet. So you want the hole to line up like in that section? Okay. Yeah, this okay. section here needs to connect with this. Is that the right marking that we did? Yeah, that's, that's what, what that, we're doing. That's what we're going to do going to elongate it so that the oil leakage can go from here down through here and back out the suction. Hmm. And how long do you think this will take them? Uh, maybe an hour. Uh, a pump? pump yeah. All right. 75 hours to go. <laughs> but if we hadn't have caught it, it would have destroyed the pump. Okay. It So these are all the pumps. We are going to take them all apart, put them back together. <laughs> Boyd, how many coffees do you have today? Uh, how many coffees do I have today? Yeah. Just three. Just three. <laughs> Those are massive. <laughs> So this is the end that doesn't have to be taken apart. Right, they're not gonna machine anything. Willie put these together and they don't need to be touched. They're just bagged to stay clean. Oh my gosh, there's more there. <laughs> they're everywhere. 
75. Should hopefully fix the issue at hand. The drain here was elongated to 5 8. We're going to test it now. We'll see if we're done. Great. Uh, great. Well, well, if they're testing it, let's go. Do you think it's going to work? Don't say you hope so. Yeah. Do you it's, no, it's going to. It's, <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an engineer. Moment of truth here. So normally, when you fill these up before you test them, you fill it up through this case. But what we're looking for is this suction, the inlet, to be connected to the case now. So when I pour it in here, it should come out here. This one of them? The good one? shoot out. What are we expecting here? No, I'm, uh, it should fill up the case through the suction line. And we'll okay. see oil? I'm going slow, so I don't know how. Oh, we're going. Alright. There it is. So that is part one of the test. Okay. Now we know that the hole is no longer touching the housing. So are we going to run a real test now? Yes. Nice. Are we testing every single one of them? Yes. I think we should. Showing the way you can ensure that oh, yeah. no hose, no O-rings got pinched, 
everything's together right, and they actually work. This is either gonna go really good or really bad. You ready? That's a that's a hundred percent connection. Now we'll have no problems. Need to set it at any value? Yes. Let me open up the suction back up. Right hand, right? Suction's open, case is full. Good to run. Pressure up. So 1000. 9 cc, 9 cc, right? The main volume. Uh, pressure right there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. I didn't bring it up to it looks good set? and it's working and we set it to max volume set to 18 cc and min volume set to 9 cc and we don't have any case line it's all drained internally and it's working good too it's so good it should to go. be good to go and now we'll test the 75 of the other one and we'll ship it out <laughs> <laughs> 74 more to go yep the first one tested great 74 more to go see you monday <laughs>